Hello and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Janae and I am currently in the middle of filming a wedding series. So in today's video, you will see how I asked my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids. If you wanna know how I've asked each and every one of these girls to be in my wedding, keep watching. have eight bridesmaids, one maid of honor, and one matron of honor. So 10 total. Yes, I know that is a lot. But when you have such wonderful, amazing people in your life, it's hard to just pick a couple. So what you're about to see are the 10 ways <laughs> that I asked each and every one of these girls to be a part of my big day. So when thinking about how I was going to propose to all of my bridesmaids, I definitely wanted it to be something very special and unique. The least I can do is show them my appreciation by taking the time and energy to propose to them in a unique way. So let me just stop talking and let's just get right into it. So number one and number two, I'm including them together because I asked them at the same time in the same way because they are sisters. They are also my cousins, but I prefer to call them some of my best, best friends. I was actually the maid of honor in both of their weddings, so I, I thought this was just only fitting that I return the favor. So this one's a tad bit complicated, but I'm gonna try to make it as clear and simple as possible. So because my two cousins live out of town, I had this idea to create some sort of way my two cousins can at least get to the same place and then I could surprise them there together. So my uncle reached out to my two cousins saying that he wanted to have a weekend getaway in St. Augustine with him and my aunt, but that my two cousins should surprise my aunt in St. Augustine. Little did they know I was gonna be the one surprising them. So the plan was for my mom and I and my aunt to drive together up to St. Augustine, get to the lunch place beforehand, and then hide and wait for my two cousins to arrive. Meanwhile, they think, they're surprising my aunt, but my mom and I will be there with a the whole setup asking them to be my maid and matron of honor. So what you're about to see is them arriving, surprising my aunt, and then they walk up this ramp and there they find my mom and I standing there. <laughs> now, I'm also going to insert kind of a behind the scenes clip of me putting their boxes together so that you all can see what their boxes look like and exactly how I asked them to be in my wedding. It's 12.30 at night. We are sitting on the floor in the office <laughs> putting together my maid and matron of honors proposal gift. Chapstick, teacup, tea. And then they will have a pink box that looks like this when you open it. All thanks to her and this woman. Oh. 
Okay, now we wait. my mom standing there. I am just so glad that we were able to pull it off and that they said yes. Now, number three is my sister-in-law, Mackenzie, and how I asked her to be in the wedding is my family and I had a gift exchange after Christmas with just our immediate family, and so her and my brother came over. Since Alex was also asking my brother to be in the wedding, we decided to ask them together in the same way. So I put a box together with two just plain red ornaments inside that had each one of their names on one. But as you'll see, Mackenzie goes to take out her ornament first and she flips it over and on the back side is where I put the question, will you be my bridesmaid? And then that's when my brother saw his ornament and realized that there was also a question on his and they both said yes. Nice. Whoa. What does it say? Yeah. Whoa, that was pretty good. Yeah. You're dang right. Yeah. 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 Number four is my sorority sister, Taylor, who is also my big. She is also one of my best friends. However, she lives in Miami, but my mother actually had to go to Miami for work back in January. So because my big is a big foodie and actually has a foodie Instagram, follow her on Instagram, at Tasty Travels. I just knew I had to ask her in some food related way. Thankfully, my mom found this wonderful woman on Facebook who makes these giant chocolate hearts that you crack open and there's actually a message inside and I was like, oh my gosh, look no further, that's the perfect idea. So what you're going to see is my mother surprising my big at her house hand delivering this chocolate heart. How are you? I have a personal delivery for you. Janae would like for you to open this if you could. Oh my god, stop! That's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Wait, I gotta take it. Oh my god, stop! You have a special place in my heart. Will you be my bridesmaid XOXO, Janae? <laughs> Hello, of course. Has she not been talking about this in the last Forever? I know. Is that official? Yes, of course. It's Hello. an official it's yes? To infinity and beyond. <laughs> Yay! Yes, Janae, I say yes, 100%. <laughs> I am so excited for you, and this is just fabulous. <laughs> And it went just as planned and I am so happy to have her be a part of my big day. Number five is my cousin Ashley who also lives in Miami. So yep, yep, you guessed it. I had my mother deliver something to her as 
well on that same business trip. So I was actually a bridesmaid in her wedding. So now it was my turn to do the asking, which was by getting a bottle of sparkling grape juice because she was pregnant at the time. And also because I love sparkling cider. For those of you who don't know, I don't drink. And so I'm always that girl at New Year's drinking sparkling cider. Also, this particular bottle that I found was all pink and that's my favorite color. So I just thought this bottle, this drink was made for me. I had to use it. So what I did was I just made a little sign to attach to the bottle that said, now it's my turn to pop the question will you be my bridesmaid? And I put it in a little gift bag for my mom to give to her. Also in the gift bag, I put a little gift for her daughter, Amelia, who I also asked to be in the wedding as one of my flower girls. And how I asked her was that I found this really cute little mermaid puzzle. And on the puzzle, I put the words, will you be my flower girl? So what you're going to see is my mom literally showing up <laughs> at their doorstep unannounced. You'll see how very surprised they were. And she gives my cousin the gift bag and then a gift for Amelia. And it's really, really cute. Oh my gosh. Where's Ashley? Oh my gosh, you <laughs> literally scared us. We almost, uh, we almost took out our gun. <laughs> he was packing. <laughs> He was packing. Hi. 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 <gasps> Have to. I'm bringing you oh something. Oh. Now it's my turn to pop the question. Will you be my bridesmaid? <laughs> oh you my gosh. I'm, I'm having no. you in cereal. Yes, you are. It says Amelia. Look, it opens. <laughs> yes, it's a tissue paper. It's a puzzle. It's a do you want to do it with me? Yeah. Okay, let's build it. Who's that? Louder. <gasps> let's put him here. I think he's up next to her. Where do you think that last one goes, Amelia? Where does it go? You just gotta turn it like this. <gasps> Will you be my flower girl? <gasps> Will you be her flower girl for her wedding with Alex? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Look at the camera. Look, can you look in the camera and say, hi, Janae. Hi, Janae. Say, it would be my honor. Number six is actually my best friend from high school, probably the person I've known the longest in this bridal party, with the exception of my cousins. And her name is also Taylor, but Taylor with an E. Side note, she makes music and she's awesome, so check her out, you won't regret it. So with Taylor, it was a tricky one because she currently lives in Los Angeles, but she always comes home for the holidays, so I had a very limited window to ask her. One thing about Taylor is that she loves taking nice, warm, cozy baths, so I had the idea of putting together a box of bath goodies and just simply writing on each bath bomb, will you be my bridesmaid? Only thing is, I don't have a video of that because my friend Shannon, shout out to you, love you. She was also there at Taylor's house that night and she had one job and that was to film Taylor's reaction. But she forgot to hit record or something was happening with her phone or I don't know what, but you'll see the pictures. Number seven is actually Taylor's cousin, Bryce. 
who I've also known pretty much since I've been in high school and she was one of my roommates when I used to live out in LA with Taylor. So we got super close through my time out in LA, but she doesn't live in Florida either. She lives in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so again, I had to figure out a creative way to ask her while also still making her feel special from far away. So Bryce is currently studying for nursing school and she loves coffee. So what better way to ask her to be in my wedding than to surprise her with coffee while she's studying. So I had her friend, shout out to you, Christy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get her her favorite coffee and have them write on the cup, will you be my bridesmaid? And then hand deliver it to Bryce while she's studying. But really the coffee was from yours truly. So she had no idea. Why are you taking a picture of me right now? I just love you, I'm happy to see you. Take your coffee. This is so weird, is that like a picture? Wait, it says something. is number eight which is my friend Rachel who is another sorority sister from college and again just another one who lives out of town except she didn't live as far as Bryce so what I did was I actually sent Rachel something around Valentine's Day so with the help of her boyfriend Ryan shout out to you I coordinated with him to help me film her reaction so I actually found these chocolate covered apples but they looked like chocolate covered donuts don't ask me how they made this. They looked cute. They looked like they tasted even better and I knew she would love them and I had the cutest idea once I saw those chocolate covered apple shaped donuts. Wait, chocolate covered donut shaped apples. It'll make sense in a second. And with the donuts, I sent a card that said, I donut wanna do this without you. Will you be my bridesmaid? Okay. Where's that from? Because it's not for me. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh! She's asked me to be your bridesmaid. Yay! <laughs> yes! Number nine is Alex's sister, Emily. Again, another complicated one here because she doesn't just live out of town or even out of state. She lives in Japan. So this one was a tricky one, but of course I didn't let that stop me from asking her in a special way. So she received a special card that on the back said, before you become my sister, will you be my bridesmaid? is Tori, Alex's half-sister. Just when I thought it would get easier by now, she of course lives in another state as well. She lives in Massachusetts. She also has four little ones who I also asked to be in my wedding. So we chose to visit them for Valentine's Day, which gave me a great excuse to give them Valentine's Day gifts. But as you'll see, in each of their gifts was me proposing to them to be in the wedding. So Tori has a set of twins, a two-year-old and a five-year-old. For the twins, I just found this little heart-shaped Valentine's Day sign that I just put some stickers on and wrote, will you both be in the wedding? And then for the other two, Teddy, who's five, and Maggie, who's two, I found these really cute books on Amazon. One book said Ring Bear, one book said Flower Girl, and then of course Tori was the last one to be asked. So in her gift, she had a little heart-shaped box 
that said open on the lid and when she opened it, it was filled with a whole bunch of those conversation hearts and they said, will you be my bridesmaid? What does it say on the front? Happy Will you be our? Then open it up. Uh, what does it say? <laughs> What, what does it say, Candace <laughs> Will you be in our wedding? Woo! What do you say? The wedding boy. The wedding boy, yeah. What's it called? <laughs> the ring, ring. The ring bearer. Auntie Nene wants to know if you'll be her ring bearer. Will no you way. be our ring bearer, Teddy? Teddy, will uh, you be our ring bearer? No. No! Oh, <laughs> Maggie, what does yours say? What does it say? <laughs> flower girl! Maggie, you gonna be our, our flower girl? Get a gummy. All right, walk down the aisle. Will you? Can you get a kiss? Mm -hmm. Will you give Aunt Nene a kiss? Mm -hmm. Thank you! I'll give you a kiss too, see. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, good. It says, <laughs> what mom oh, oh. Will you be? Oh my gosh, my bridesmaids. Yes, well, wow. that is so adorable. Is it filled with these things? This is, <laughs> they all say, will you be my <laughs> like a That is the cute idea. That's a yes. Yes, of course. asked my perfect 10 of a bride tribe to be my bride tribe and I wouldn't have it any other way so bridesmaids maid of honor matron of honor if you're watching this video I love you and I am so happy you all said yes and I am so thankful for each and every one of you so if you're a bride watching this and you need some creative ideas of how to ask your bridal party feel free to take any of these ideas but for now if you want to see more videos like this or to continue to follow my my wedding planning journey subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any questions about this process or how to even narrow down your bridal party let me know down below and as always thank you guys for watching until next time bye